Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the percentage of a shape which is shaded. And we're not going to use a calculator for this. Okay, so let's have a look at the first example. So we've got to work out the percentage of the shape which is shaded red. So first of all, I'm going to write down the fraction of the shape which is shaded red. So on the top of the fraction, I count how many red squares are shaded. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then on the bottom of the fraction, the denominator, I'm going to count how many squares I have all together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make an equivalent fraction out of 100 because a percentage is a number which is out of 100. So I'm going to put my, I'm going to make my denominator the fraction 100. So we just need to figure out now what this top number is. So we've got to figure out how many times 20 goes into 100. So if you don't know your 20 times table, just write them down on your page. You've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So this goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 20 times 5 is 100. So we need to multiply the top number by 5 as well. So 11 times 5 is 55. So then our percentage will be just the numerator, which is 55. So 55% of the shape is shaded. So let's have a look at example two then. So again, we've got to write down the percentage of the shape, which is shaded red. So on the top of the fraction, let's count how many squares are shaded. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and then on the denominator let's count how many squares we've got all together so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five so what we're going to do next is make an equivalent fraction out of 100 because the percentage means out of 100. So if we change the denominator to 100. So we need to work out how many times 25 goes into 100. So let me just chop my 25 times table down. So as you can see, it goes one, two, three, four times. So if I've multiplied the bottom number by 4, I have to multiply the top number by 4 as well. So 9 times 4 is 36. So 36% of our shape is shaded. So I hope you like this example. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.